Art supplies have been a bit challenging to source, so I've ordered as much as I can. You can expect one of these two black fine liners. While so far I've been lucky to be able to find these white gel pens, I haven't been as lucky with the gold pens. So I've sourced a variety of gold and copper pens and you can expect one of these colors in your kit. At this time I'm not taking special requests just because inventory has been a bit tricky. Similarly as with the pens, flat brushes have been difficult to find, so you can expect one of these two or possibly a different kind of flat brush, but you will get one flat brush in this set. Even though I'm only showing two pieces of paper here, please note that there will be 10 pieces of watercolor paper in total. This is a little sample of what the white gel pen as well as the black fine liner and the accent pen can do on a darker painted surface. These can make for really nice detailing like stars in a sky or embellishments on something like feathers. Here's a little demo of how to use your tracing paper. First trace your image in pencil and then go over that with your black fine liner so that your lines are really easy to see when you're using the graphite which can drown out the pencil markings. So I turn it over and I use my graphite stick to cover the entire surface so that I have something to transfer. Place that on your watercolor paper until you're satisfied with the composition and then trace back over it with some medium pressure. You don't want to press too hard so you don't crease the paper or too light so that you don't actually transfer anything. And then go back over those lines with pencil again so that you can have them nice and salient and a little bit stronger so that when you use the kneaded eraser, they don't completely vanish. When you get your kit, the paints will be dry. In order to activate them, use a small water droplet and gently pet the edge of the paint to invite some of that color into that water droplet. The lightest shade that you'll get should be something referred to as a T consistency, so not very opaque, quite sheer. The second level that you should be able to achieve is something referred to as milk. So you can see there, it's a bit more of a mid-tone. The more paint you mix into the clear water droplet, which will stop being clear after a while, the darker the paint will be. I always recommend to people that you start off with some sort of color chart like this so that you can gauge how opaque or how sheer your colors will be and also what kind of vibrancy they have. The darkest and most opaque application will be something that is referred to as honey. I'm not necessarily achieving that here in this sample but as you get darker and the paint gets thicker and tackier, that's moving closer towards that honey-like consistency. Tea milk and honey are terms you'll hear me using in the workshops. Thank you for considering the Deluxe Starter Kit. I hope you found this information useful. For more tips and tricks, be sure to check out my social media and website and Patreon account.